family, yeah, my family. I hope the fan is not bothering you. Cause I need it cause it's summery do. No, I don't know. What's up, good people, AKA winners? That's what we do, ay, that's all we do, ay, 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 ay. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Vicky, Vicky, ay. <laughs> anyway, so listen, Linda, Larry, LaQuisha, Lorinda, all y'all, okay? Cause I got something to tell y'all. Hold on, let me move the fan a little bit. You guys, I just did a video on like my updated hair and this thing that I just learned like today, I was today years old that I found out. So I filmed that. So if you want to see that, you can literally, um, I'll put the video, I'll link it in this video, okay? For years, you guys, you guys know that, um, and it's been a while. I used to be on Morphe's PR list, right? And so they sent me years ago, which I did a separate video. And before we even get started, like click that subscribe button, girl, what you waiting on? Girl, click that button. Go on and click that button, turn your notifications on and all that good stuff so you don't miss a beat. So I did a video on the Morphe 35 O2 palette. Now I love this palette so, so, so much. So, so, so much. I always take this palette whenever I do clients. I always take this palette whenever I travel. I always take this palette or use this palette every day, like every day, every single day. <laughs> this color right here is called Universo. And it has the most appropriate name ever because it literally looks great on so many different shades. It looks great if you wear, um, let's use Born This Way um, foundation because I use that a lot on clients. It looks good on my shade, which is like chestnut and chai. It looks good on my, um, I do clients that use the, um, what color is that? Oh my gosh, I can't even think of it right now. Sugar, spice, sugar, spiced rum, that's it. Spiced rum, so that's of a deeper color. And I can even use this as a brow bone highlight on them and people that are a little lighter than me. Let's fast forward as I'm doing this. Let me put some concealer on my lid because we about to get in there. This is just, we about to test some things out, okay? Fast forward, they discontinued the eyeshadow palette, okay? And so I was all in my feelings about it and I was like, do they just have the shade Universal so that I can use just that shade? I don't have to have the whole palette, but I must need my shade, okay? So I went to a Mor Morphe store recently out here in Los Angeles and this is just the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. We might as well like blend it and pat it while we talk because this is just about just to see if this will work for me right to see if we got something that I can tell y'all to go get because they discontinued it so anyway so I went to the Morphe store and I'm like guys guys what's going on what's going on talk to me I, I, I need a couch like I need, I need you to explain to me why the 3502 palette is gone because that is one of my favorite palettes from Morphe that one and the Jaclyn Hill palette that they came out with first right and so they said nope that's gone nope as far as we know we don't have that universal shade so I'm like, O to the M to the G. So I was inside of Ulta the other day and I saw this palette, which is the 35U, okay? It's called Gilded Desert, all right? And this is, you know, just the sun and everything. It looks like a desert, right? So I saw this and I swatched a shade in there. And I got to tell you a little testimony too. And the shade that I saw was called Bear It All. I was like, and it's a little bit more yellow than the color in the 3502 but I was like, I might be able to work with that because I promise you guys, I looked at MAC and maybe I can revisit them, but there wasn't a shade that I just absolutely love the way that I love this Universal, okay? I even tried, there's some Makeup Geek shades. I used to use Peach Smoothie, okay? Peach Smoothie wasn't given what it needed to give anymore. Plus, you know, Makeup Geek, they went out of business now, so I wouldn't be able to get any more of that anyway. But Peach Smoothie was a little bit too peach and like too neutral for me. So, you know, as I just kinda, I don't know, as I um, grew in makeup and learned different things as, as you know, that happened. As I did that and learned different things that I liked, I fell in love with Universal. And so every time I would tell you guys about that palette, you guys are like, it's discontinued. And I'm like, girl, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, I swatched the palette in the store and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if they have that by itself because I don't really wanna get like the whole palette just for that color. And so there's this new company coming out. I think their name is Beauty for Life and life is spelled with a Y, like L-Y. And they were like, you won this giveaway and we love your content and we're just starting out and da-da-da-da-da. And they sent me this super big 
package which has so much stuff in it and guess what look what the lord has done this came in it so i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna show the people so i'm just gonna do a very like simple like everyday look i'm not gonna even show you the whole face but then again i might because it's real simple but um i'm just gonna use this palette just for this look and we're gonna try and we're gonna compare the brow bone highlight and because i want to let you guys know if this is a replacement for the 3502 not in a sense that everything is a dupe to it but in a sense that you now have something that you can use um in lieu of the uh 40 35 for, what what 55 35 9 no i'm just kidding but this is what it looks like okay this is the difference i will always love this one cue music and i, I <laughs> wait <laughs> what was that no seriously the love is never gonna go anywhere for this palette because it's a real love thing. I would say it has some warm and neutral colors in there, whereas this is like really mainly warm colors, okay? So I fell in love with it. It even has the black. This one does too. I'm just gonna let y'all know if this is worth it. I'm not gonna even touch. Well, I will touch the 3502 just to do like a little comparison or whatever, but we're gonna even use the um, crease color in here, girl. It is called Dawn to Dusk. So I'm gonna try that one because I'm not trying to go too dark this is a super simple look where I'm not even putting on foundation so I don't really need to do that you know now when I put this on this is really thought it would be more warm but it's giving me a little bit of cool here it's just a little bit just a little bit but it's okay it's okay because this is not really what I use for my brow bone I mean my um crease anyway I'm just trying something different but I, you know what I'm a mix mix is what I do I'm kind of giving y'all some examples I usually like to use like rust colors that have brown on it on my crease or whatever so i'm gonna go into this doom buggy right here we're gonna add some of that doom buggy to kind of like make it not so um deep if you will i want to kind of warm it up a little bit warm it up chris i'm about to oh that almost erased it huh but not too shabby not too shabby but i'll have to play with this to really let you know like i legit almost want to put something on my lid just to test it out but i'm not gonna do that we'll maybe do that another time but this is not bad if you mix these colors this gives me the color that I want and so let's try this brow bone and see what, what's what's working what's working what's happening what's happening but I will be picking up that new NARS um foundation because it's looking like it's really doing something so let's try this first and I got some my brows is fresh y'all they fresh they fresh to death I just got them done so we're gonna do the ant so this is the Morphe Universal the absolute love thing I think after I do this I'll just come back with the final look too so y'all don't have to sit through it because I'm really I'm just gonna pop on some some lashes pop on some concealer I mean pop on some corrector and some concealer and I guess I'll just put that in the description box because I don't really want this to be really long anyway so y'all can see why I love this universal right y'all see that now let's see about the bear it all because I swatched it in the store and I was happy let's see <laughs> Woo! oh I think I got a new favorite. See, when I swatched it, I knew, I knew we would become like friends. I knew it. Cause I wanted something a little more yellow, y'all. Go get this, go get this. When you do that, you see how it's literally like a streak right there? You got to blend your shadow out, okay? But you can bring it down further too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have some fun with her. She gives me what Universal gives me if I put like a, a popping base. Oh, I dropped my brush. She gives me what Universal gives me if I put on a popping base or I put like a lighter concealer okay so blend it out oh my god I see I knew this was good I knew just blender blender out look it oh yes oh my gosh now don't go discontinuing on me I'm Murphy okay okay I'm gonna need you to stay with it I'm happy because especially when I do smoky eyes as well I love to have that pop of a brow bone and I'm not I'm not really into the um the shimmer on the brow bone but I do love a highlighted brow bone look at that wait till I, I'm gonna have to do a smoky eye when I go to Vegas oh my goodness so then just blend her out and y'all gonna see watch when I put the lashes on and everything it's really gonna stand out makes me want to do a wing girl yeah <laughs> welcome to the family okay you've been inducted <laughs> so y'all 
Um, just for the brow bone alone, I would definitely get another one. Like, just like I did the 3502. Does this, is it a dupe for the 3502? It's not, but I love the brow bone and it is called Bear It All. Thank you, Beauty for Life. It is called Bear It All. And there's some other colors in here you can work with, right? You got some deeper browns, you got cool, and you got some warm tones. A little more cool than the 3502, but you even have some, um, some shimmers. You got black. You even have a white in there. Like, you got, you got a lot that you can work with. So, um, just for the brow bone highlight, because I searched all all over for a great brow bone highlight to replace that one and I haven't found one until now. So hashtag winning, hashtag score. I'll be right back with the final look, okay? And it's like this, like that, and like this Santa. It's like this, like that, and like this Santa. I might have to put like a pin. This is like, I just got this hairstyle, but this is the final, let me come down a little bit. A love, come down. Oh, you make my love come down. Hey, okay. So there is the final look, you guys. That's the hair. I definitely need to like probably even it out. Gosh, this camera just tells all. I am a fan and to know that you can literally go brighter if you want to <laughs> yeah 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 so what i used on the face i will tell you real quick i did use my um makeup forever ultra hd concealer in the shade 51 which is almost gone but i have a replacement okay so i put that on just my i like kind of spot conceal for that or spot correct it under the eyes and around my mouth and then i use the Too faced born this way um multi-use sculpting concealer which is in the shade chestnut and this is almost gone too but I also have another one y'all can't see behind me but I also have another one of that and then under the eyes instead of like doing a highlighting concealer and you know uh, um, setting powder well I did use like a banana powder but I didn't do a, um, a lighter shade concealer to do the highlighting I just simply used my graftobian powder which is almost gone this is in my 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 banana cream pie I'll put the links of everything below okay so I used that powder and then I did not do a contour oh let me tell you about the powder so i did a video on the one size powder which is um by patrick star this is his line and this is in the shade dark two neutral and just so you know ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. I love this. This is my first powder. Um, well, the first one was in my shade. So I got this one and this is all I've been using. I've actually been using this over the Fenty because this one actually gives me more like a, like a matte type of finish. I don't know. It's really flawless and I just kind of got attached to it and I haven't left it. I did not do a contour. I did not do a blush. Whenever I do like a, um, a real natural look, I don't do that, but I do use these highlighters right here. This is, um, Ofra Cosmetics. It has makeup on it. Do not not judge me okay but this is the beverly hills highlighter right here this is the shade that i use to lay down first right here on top of my cheekbone and then i put it on the bridge of my nose and sometimes i take it up here i didn't do that today actually but this one is the beverly hills compact this is the one i did the collaboration with them on but if you guys want to save some money just use code c key per the use and then i also use this one this is the x's and glows palette but if you just want the shade that i use right here this is is gingerbread so I go on top with this one afterward because this is a little bit too deep and so I just want to deepen the other one up although I've been doing highlighter by itself for years the Beverly Hills but I just add a little more depth to it with this on top of that and that's it like legit that's really all y'all saw the eyes already I popped on some Ardell lashes that is what is going on here that's it all right I love y'all um thank you so much for watching please share if you don't mind I would love that and subscribe if you you haven't turned the notification bell on so that it notifies you and lets you know and you guys have an amazing day or no 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 but yes that too but you guys have an awesome blessed day and i will see you soon bye confidence is key you know what i mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty i don't need no Benz, lexus or a range rover just give your girl a bomb cq beauty makeover